Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I had a question recently. How do I know if my succulents are stressing? Now for that, I have a couple of examples over here. Now this is my Graptopetalum Purple Delight and you can see there is a huge hole on the leaves and a couple of the leaves also have holes. Now that was because of the pigeon attack. Thank you so much for all of your concern, but uh, the problem has been taken care by using the toothpick. So now they no longer come to my succulents. And here I have another Graptovaria variety. I'll put up the name on the screen. Now, if you're going to take a closer look at the succulent, now this is a, a universal sign uh, to know whether your succulent is getting stressed. And the universal sign is that your succulents will have intense colors. Now, depending upon the amount of stress, uh, the colors are going to get even more vibrant. Now, I know a lot of you might think stress is a very harsh thing or a very cruel thing. But trust me, with succulents, it is not. Uh, in fact, the more stress you give to your succulents, the more colorful they will get. But again, everything has to be done in a limit. If you tend to exceed that limit, definitely that is going to damage your succulent. Now, when we talk about stressing, it basically means uh, there are two types. One is uh, a stress that the succulent develops when it gets into its dormancy. And the other stress is when you tend to reduce your watering and when you offer more light, that is when the succulent starts to get stressed. Again, do not add fertilizers because that is going to interrupt the process of the succulent getting stressed. So when you are going to water your succulent less and when you're going to offer more uh, light to your succulent, the colors will start to appear. And another feature, you will start noticing that the crown area will start to close inwards. That indicates that your succulent is getting stressed. Now, as I said, there is no harm in stressing your succulents as long as it's done within the limit. Meaning, do not uh, water your succulents too less, otherwise the succulent will get dehydrated. Do not offer too much of light, otherwise the succulent will get burnt. So you have to be extremely careful. Now this can also happen during dormancy. Here is my Echeveria chewinensis. You can see the leaves are closing inwards. This is a sign of dormancy. So even when the succulent tends to go dormant, the leaves will start closing inwards. And when the succulent is getting stressed, the leaves will start getting inwards. The whole purpose of this is called as the survival mode. The succulent tends to save up the water that is present in the leaves by closing the leaves inwards. So with this, uh, less water will be evaporated from the leaves. Now, this is what they tend to do in their natural habitat as in when uh, the temperatures get extreme or let's say if it's not getting a lot of water in order to protect itself it starts closing the leaves inwards with this there is going to be less loss of water so there are a couple of reasons when this happens one is when there is less water when there is extreme heat or when there is extreme cold so even though this is absolutely normal there is nothing to be worried but it is very important for you to know why your succulent is stressing one is it because it's in a dormant period for that you will have to know what is the id of the succulent or at least the genus of succulent now for example over here my echeveria is getting dormant because it's winter so i do not need to be worried much but if it is a succulent that is in its growing period and if that is stressing by closing the leaves inwards then you will have to check whether is it because of your underwatering or is it because of too much of sunlight or is it because of extreme temperature so if you're just starting off with succulents, you are not very comfortable or confident about stressing your succulents, please do not do it. I would say uh, rather focus more on growing your succulent healthy rather than experimenting because this can turn out to be a little tricky, especially if you are a beginner. Uh, stressing of succulents in case if you happen to underwater it too much or if you happen to give it too much of sun, there could be a negative effect on the succulent. So it all depends uh, how confident you are with it. But if you are just starting off with succulents, let's say you have just purchased a succulent like two or three months back, please do do not get into stressing your succulents let your succulents get adjusted and adapted in the new environment do not put them right away in stressing otherwise that is going to create an issue on your succulents like for example you can see my cedar medolfi it has completely uh, stressed uh, because this succulent has been with me for a couple of years now probably over four or five years i have done a lot of cuttings i've taken a lot of 
uh, stem cuttings from them that's the reason why they are still very small because i keep taking cuttings from them but if you're going to take a closer look you will be able to see they are a very stressed they have this very intense color but at the same time you won't be able to see any wrinkles on them because i have an experience of stressing them i exactly know where i can push the limit or uh, where i know that uh, it will no longer be able to take that stress so you need to have a little bit of experience when you're dealing with stress uh, do not put a lot of pressure on them otherwise as i said either they will get dehydrated or they will get burnt in the sun you can take a look at my stressed completely stressed sedum adolfi there are no wrinkles there are no burns they look absolutely beautiful with those intense yellow color So guys that's all about it I hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating